I have a document right here, which is created by using OpenOffice, which is a software user to create documents. And what do I have inside this document is text and image, all of that considered as content. And in order to manage the style or in order to change the colors and to add the position in all of these images and all of that, so we use a software and we use in Office. Then when you finish editing the file, you just save the file by using a name, which is the first one, and by using also an extension and this is the name and this is the extension what if you want to have the same result but from a browser you want to open you can't open this brochure.odt file from a browser so this is why we need a language that can help us to create the file that can be previewed from a browser and what is exactly a browser a browser is for example in our case we are using google chrome we have some other ones firefox opera so it's depend on the software you are installing. But a browser or a web browser is just like a tool. When you open Facebook or Instagram or any other website, it's just a website that is created on a specific server, but you need, in order to open or to visit this facebook.com, you just need this browser. If you don't have a browser, you can't visit this website. Think of this login page that we are visiting like a document. And what do we have inside this document? is a logo which is an image and we have also another image and we have text all of that can be created by using a language which is html which is considered as hypertext markup language and it's considered also as the foundation of every website on the world wide web so i can have the same result like this document by creating an html page with this brochure and by using html instead of creating a document by using open office and this page if we take a look here this is the page let's just open brochure so this is the page brochure.html and if we open this html code we'll just find out that there is a code inside the page and what is inside the page is just tags and these tags are used depending on the element that you want to insert for example if you want to insert an image you will use a specific tag and if you want to use create a title you use a specific tag but in general don't focus on the styling because the styling isn't done by using HTML code. HTML code is just responsible for structuring the content. So the content can be text, can be image, and can also be video like this one. And if you want to just take a look of a page without CSS, I just go here and remove the CSS code. Don't focus on the code. I'm just showing you the, the basics here. And you take a look here, you have the code or you have the page without the styling. So HTML is responsible for putting the content inside the page, not for the alignment, not for the colors, not for anything related to the style. CSS is the language responsible for the styling. You will not go through CSS in this course. You will go through HTML and you will learn how to put content within an HTML page. What to take from this lesson? So in order to open an HTML page, you have two ways. So if you want to preview the result, you need to use the browser. And if you want to open the code, you just need to install an editor, a text editor. It can be Visual Studio Code, not paid plus plus, it depends on the software and there is multiple of choices. But we have text editors, simple ones, and we have this IDEs like this example where I'm using Visual Studio Code, which has some features and like highlighting or a complete and some other features that can be interesting. But in general, you can install any text editor you want to use and if you want to just install with your studio code feel free if it's free to use just go and do download vs code and it can be installed for mac operating system users linux users or even windows users feel free to use any idea for me personally you will find me using visual studio code through the whole course